What's up, Metalheads? I'm Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And we're going to do a little upgrade to the Spyderco Pair 3. Uh, during that big sale Rip's Garage Tech had going on, I didn't have a lot of money to spend, but I did go ahead and order a Nebula Fat Carbon Backspacer to add to my Pair 3. Um, not really going to change it much, but, you know, I think it'll look pretty cool having those different lines in, in there to match the scales. So um, I think the plug will stay in. It just goes right around the plug, if I remember correctly. And I'm going to try to do this without fully disassembling and just take one side off if everything works out the way I think it will. Um, let's see here. Yeah, do the clip side. Let's see. Is that T6? Been a while since I took one of these apart. Yes, T6. There we go. About halfway there already. And I think that's T10 or is it T8? I can't remember. Pivot's T10. The other screw is T8. I hate it that companies like Spyderco use three different size screws, you know? Just use one, pick one. Make our life easier. There we go. And the pivot screw. There we go. Should be pretty quick and painless here. It should fit right over there, right in the hole. Slipped right in there. Like it knew what it was meant to do. All right. Uh, hold on a second. My washer's out of place. The uh, compression lock's pushing up on me. Pushing this out of the way. This knife is super clean, so I'm not worried about cleaning it or anything. This is a safe queen. Barely gets carried at all. It's more of a size comparison knife. Uh, that's about all it gets used for in the channel. So, um, I love... Uh, Rips Garage Tech. They make such good stuff. Their products are so nice. Now let's see if I can get that to line up again. I had it. Oh, you bastard. I don't want to fully disassemble. I think it's easier to take it apart from the other side, though. Uh, but the screws weren't facing the right way for that, so. There we go. Now, can we get that scale in there without it popping all the way off on us again? Yes. Yes, so that was pretty simple. Just got to tune her up now. I got a video coming very soon where I'm going to be doing a, a video compare. What's the best lightweight knife, right? And why is it the best one? And uh, it's between two knives. You see, looking at one of them, you see one of them on the screen right now. And this, this one's little brother um, is the other one that will be in the comparison. And I've come to a conclusion between the Benchmade Bug Out and the Spyderco Para 3 Lightweight um, that, uh, oh, damn it. I didn't want to do that, and that's okay. And uh, I'm kind of surprised myself with this one. I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag yet. But there is a clear winner, a very clear winner. And probably not for the reasons you're thinking. Um, I'll let you know more soon when I make that video. When you see that video, it all makes sense. But there, you know, price is a big deal. I'll put it that way. That's part of it. But, uh, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for, right? So, I don't know. You'll, I know. I know the answer to that question. And it, there's a clear winner. Clear, clear, clear winner. And this is one that's kind of, kind of bugging me, actually. And, uh. Get, get a little something off my chest and I'll tell you which way to go. At least, you know, which way to go as far as spending your money, where your money would be better spent. Uh, all right, let's tighten that one down. Is it T8?
and the T10. Let's see how we look in here. Almost centered. Almost. Loosen that one up a little bit. Back this one out a little bit. That one's really loose, actually. There we go. But one thing about both the knives, uh, the Pair 3 Lightweight, which I don't have here at the moment, uh, and the uh, Benchmade Bug Out is we're dead nut centered. We are rock solid. Their pivots are extremely finicky. Um, when you're a, if you ever do a, take one apart and uh, going to be doing a well, going to be doing a build on this knife also. Uh, if you ever do take one apart, very minimal amount of turn will uh, change the knife drastically. Right? You can go from an eighth of a turn. You can go from it dropping like this and turn it an eighth of a turn, and it won't drop at all. You'll press the compression lock, and it'll just stay. Very, very uh, sensitive pivots, but I like that because once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple to tune one. But yeah, so there we go. Not a big drastic change, uh, but I think it looks better that way with that backspacer in there, personally. Seamless. All the different waves from all the different layers. Looks pretty cool. So, yep. Just wanted to show you guys. Very easy to install a backspacer if you've never done one. And uh, let you know that you will see see a comparison, a versus video between the Benchmade bug out. Ooh. Oh, I, I know where that screw is, and I don't know. I know why I forgot it. But you're gonna see a comparison video between the Benchmade bug out and the uh, Spyderco Pair Three lightweight, not the regular Pair, pair Three. Uh, I need to go get that screw. I just put these original scales back in my bug out to do that comparison video. I took the micarta scales and titanium off, went back to bone stock uh, to make that video. So, uh, and then we're gonna do a build on this with some different stuff anyway. So I figured I'd go back to stock for that video. So keep an eye out for that video. And uh, I think you'll find it interesting. And I appreciate you guys being here. And I will see you guys on the next one.